This is King David, David Goliath Music, BeatClass.com. And this is going to be an advanced tutorial that applies the techniques that NFX taught you um, on the tune drums tutorial and takes it in the real world application in a professional track. I thought this would be really important for those who are at a different level in music and really want to make music a career. So we're using FL Studio, but remember FL Studio is just a tool. It's almost like a fork. It allows you to eat the food. It's not the food itself. And really what you want to go after is the food itself, which means you really want a broad knowledge of music production. Okay? So you can apply that to any software. However, we're going to go ahead and use FL Studio. Um, by the way, if you get a chance, go to warbeats.com. They have uh, a large free resource of sounds. Uh, it's a great community. Um, they have a lot of FL Studio tutorials, all of them free. And they have a really great chat and video chat community. When you're ready to get more of an elevated or more of a secondary education, which will get you closer to production deals and that kind of stuff, then you want to come to uh, FruityLoopsUniversity.com, uh, BeatClass.com. And yes, they do cost. Uh, they do cost, and the reason why they cost is because you're getting uh, much more superior training. And you're going to get the kind of training that will lead you and land you the record deals that you're looking for. And um, this is what I do for a living. This is what I've been trained to do. So absolutely, I make a living at it. And I'm proud to say that. So with that being said, let's get down to business. Now, this is what you're going to learn how to create. Um, I've only got a little bit of time, so I'm going to show you how it's created. But then you can go to the website and actually download um, the full tutorial where you can actually learn all the settings and all that other stuff just not enough time to give you all that all in one 10 minute video so here's what it's going to sound like when you're done I'll play it one more time here we go Okay, so for time's sake, I'm just going to go over what uh, NFX taught you. It's a great tool, as he mentioned, that uh, Edison is an incredible, powerful tool. So I'll show you some of the things that were started in the tutorial that NFX taught. Um, what he did was he brought into the Edison uh, 808 kick, right? It's a pretty common kick. You can find this in any FL Studio pack. It's there. And what he showed you how to do was find the pitch. Now, to keep it consistent with what NFX taught you, I created this in the same key that he created um, his mix in, in the key of A minor. Now, A minor, if you look at my keys here, it's spelled out A, C, E. That is an A minor chord. Again, A, C, E. And I'll play that with an instrument so you can actually hear what the pitches sound like. That's very important because what we're trying to do is tune the drums so we have to actually learn how to hear pitches. That is the A minor chord. A, C, E. Okay, so we're working off that chord. But here's the issue. The issue is how do you match those drums to that pitch? Now, what we teach you over at Fruity Loops University is to learn how to use your ears to hear. Because the ear and the human brain is still the most powerful computer ever. So it's good to be able to rely on the computer to determine what the pitch is. However, if you really want to get advanced training, you want to actually do some ear training. We have a tutorial called Ear Training um, on BeatClass.com, which will train your ear so you can hear pitches. All right. But if you can't, once you've dragged that sound into Edison, and we can simply do that just by going to our wave and dragging that wave into the Edison. Left click and drag. All right. Once you've done that, all right, you want to come to the region section here, this button here, and you want to left click on that and slide down to detect pitch regions. All right, left click on that, and you'll see what it will say is G2. Now, what uh, NFX already mentioned is that it doesn't really matter whether it's G2 or whatever. That's the two represents the octave, the G represents the notes. So we know now that the note that this kick is is emanating or putting out is a G right but we need the key of a right so how do we do that okay so what we want to do next is we want to go to the channel settings and we want to recognize that 
the root note here saying C5. And over on our Edison, it says G2. All right? So how do we reconcile the two? We right click and we have to make sure we right click and not left click on any G in the scale. Now if you don't know your scales, um, we have tutorials on scales as well over at bclass.com. And we have tutorials that take you through all of the scales, every single one. And then we also show you how they relate to each other, major and minor. So we're going to count down from C, B, A, G. Right click on that G and now we've reset our scale so that G is now the root note. Now when we play an A it's going to be in tune with our other instruments. Watch this. Hear that? Now hear this. You hear that? Same notes. Okay. Now, as you go along, you'll be able to do this by ear. And that's a lot quicker, actually, than having to, you know, I feel it's a lot quicker if you can hear it by ear than having to go through some of the mechanical changes. But this is a great starting place for people who can't actually play by ear. Okay, so now that we've got everything aligned up, now we can begin to play our track. All right, so I'm going to show you simply how the bass line goes. All right, I'm going to go ahead and easily record it and I'm gonna bring it down into the right octave so uh, I don't know about your controller but most controllers will have an octave key okay so I'm gonna bring it down to the right octave there we are right octaves is there all right now let's listen to the bass line let's see how it goes I'll put the metronome on pretty cool bass line right alright so now let's play it let's recreate it simple A to E to D to C okay so it's, it's what's called a walking bass line now it, it doubles as a bass line and a kick drum alright so we're gonna just walk it we're gonna go from A to E to D to C and then A E D C B and then our final note is gonna be a G all right, so here's our pattern. One more time. G. All right, now that wasn't the exact pattern, but we'll do it again so that the pattern does match up. And again. Now we got our rhythm and it's locked in there. So now let's play everything together, okay? Okay, now obviously there's a vocal track, there's drums, there's all kinds of things. And if you want to get the complete tutorial because of time, you can come to bclass.com tonight and the whole tutorial will be there, which will take you a, a way further into music production than you can ever imagine, including recording the vocals, the right effects to use to give it that radio polish, um, not only hearing notes, but also learning how to use these techniques in every single music production environment that you can imagine. So you're not just limited to FL Studio. So again, I do thank you for taking time to listen to this tutorial. And when you want to move into a larger world of music production, you definitely want to go to bclass.com. Absolutely, it costs money. This is what I do for a living. However, the money is worth it. Most of the tutorials that uh, we teach and we've trained people with have led them to a greater place in music. I get a lot of calls and emails saying how uh, our artists are getting record deals and working with great artists. So that's if that's where you want to be, then bclass.com and fruityloopsuniversity.com it's a place for you to go. All right? One love, King David, bclass.com.